Hey everybody, um, I am so behind on my videos, it's not even funny, but, um, uh, first of all, it is, uh, February 22nd, Saturday, and, um, I'm coming to you with a Goodwill Bookstore book haul. Uh, I'm really, really behind on my videos because I've just been very, very sick, you can still hear it in my voice, so I actually have, like, two more to shoot to catch myself up. Um, and so I'm gonna have to try to throw them in somewhere, but, um, not today. But, um, my friend stayed with me last week, and so obviously I was hanging out with her, and, and then I wasn't feeling well. I was very, very sick, and so I just have not sat down to film. So, uh, um, I need to just kind of get back into the swing of things. I haven't been watching, like, a lot of the videos of the people that I subscribe to and stuff, and so I'm gonna have to have, like, a YouTube day and just, uh, watch videos and get caught up and stuff, but, um, my husband and I, uh, went out this morning to breakfast, and, um, and then we went to the bookstore, because like I said, going to the bookstore is a date for us, and so, um, I really wanted to check out the Goodwill bookstore in downtown San Diego, uh, and see if it was, if I liked it as much as I liked the one that I just went to a few weeks ago, um, in the uh, Otay Ranch area. I do like the one in the Otay Ranch area better. I feel like it was better organized and it had better titles than the one um, downtown San Diego, but I still was able to get some really good finds. The one in downtown San Diego was cheaper, so I didn't see a book that was more than $3, whereas the one in Otay Ranch, there were books for like 4 or 5 $6. Dollars. So we got 10 books for 24 bucks, which I am super, super thrilled about. Um, and I know I was supposed to be on a book buying ban, but it lasted all of four days. I told you guys I was not going to be able to do it, so, uh, yeah, okay, but, um, let me just go ahead and talk about the books that I got, because I'm really, 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 really thrilled for some of the books that I got. Okay, the first one that I got is The Kite Runner by Khaled Husseini. Um, I'm not really going to say a whole lot about, about it, because honestly, I really don't know a whole lot about it, um... But I know that it is a very, 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 very popular book, and I have been wanting to read it, and so I'm glad that I was able to pick this one up. And it was a dollar ninety nine. How if you hear me? And it looks really good. So there's just like a little bit of, I don't even think you can see it. Yeah, see, there's like some stains on the thing, but other than that, it looks really good. And it was a dollar ninety nine. The next book is Amy Tan's Saving Fish from Drowning. I would have liked to have this in hardcover, um, but. I still wanted to get this because I love Amy, Amy Tan and I have several of her books and I've read all of her novels except for the newest one. And so I've read this one, but I wanted to have it because I just really like Amy Tan and I like reading her books over. And this one's a very interesting story, so um, this one was pretty cool, actually. And it's, this, was, this was just a really good book. So um, Amy Tan, Saving Fish from Drowning. Love, love, love Amy Tan. So I was like, excited about this one. This one I'm really, really... Really, really stoked about It's the Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I read this in high school. I remember... Actually, honestly, I don't remember if I liked it or I didn't. But I feel like if I didn't like it, I definitely would have remembered that. And so I've been wanting to read it again and see how I feel about it now as an adult. And I went to the used bookstore on 35th and Adams, the one that I always go to. And they didn't have it. And so I saw this right as we were at the counter. We were getting ready to buy everything. And I just happened to look at the shelf. And there it was. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm picking this up. And this was $2.99. It's hardcover. It's in pretty good condition. It was only $2.99. I think Saving Fish from Drowning might have been $1.99. Yeah, it was $1.99 also. So, score. Um, what else did I get? Okay. I, wait, I'll talk about this one last. <laughs> So my husband got some books. Um, I guess I can talk about the books he got, even though they ain't got nothing to do with me. But he got this one called Writing Down the Bones, Freeing Down the Writer Within. So it's a book about writing uh, creatively. Um, I told you my husband is working on a novel, and so I've been wanting him to have these writing references. But he, he picked this up because we went together. So uh, I'm glad he got this because I'm going to help him write his book. Um, and then he got this one called The Art of Spelling. I like this book just because I like the cover, okay? So, um, it says The Madness and the Method. I'll probably read this because I have Eat, Shoots, and Leaves, which is a book about grammar. And I told you guys I'm a grammar Nazi. I'm also a spelling Nazi. And so they had, like, a little test on the back to see if you were a decent enough speller. And I did really well. But I do love to spell. But sometimes now that I'm getting older, I notice myself going, how do you spell that word? And it'll be a word that I should definitely know how to spell. So I'll probably end up reading this book myself, even though it's the one that he got. 
Um, and then he got this other one called Barbarians at the Gate, The Fall of R.J.R. Nabisco. And I think this is kind of like a business type of book, which are the kind of things that he likes to read. He likes to read about business and finance and investing and all that rah, rah. Not my cup of tea. Um, yeah. So the next book I got is Geisha, A Life by Mineko Iwasaki with Rand Brown. Okay, there it is. Honestly, I got this book for the cover, okay? <laughs> I'm just not even gonna lie. I loved the cover. I thought the cover was just beautiful and it's, you know, got the geisha on it and whatnot. And, um, but then I saw it and I was like, oh, okay, like, this does look interesting because I read Memoirs of a Geisha and apparently this is the woman who Memoirs of a Geisha is loosely based on. And when she read Memoirs of a Geisha and she saw Memoirs of a Geisha, I guess she got upset about the misinterpretation of her story and, or the misinterpretation of the Geisha life. And so she wrote this book as a sort of response or to set the record straight. It got relatively decent reviews on Goodreads. A couple of people said it was a little self-important, that she was just pretty much just spending the whole time puffing herself up. So that made me almost not get it. But then I was just like, you want to know what? YOLO. <laughs> I'm just going to get this book. Um, and it was really cheap. I think it was it was two ninety nine, and so I was like, the cover alone is enough for, to make me get this book, just because I think it would look pretty on my shelf. Um, and then also, it might actually be a decent enough read. So um, I've always been kind of fascinated about geishas and that life and courtesans and things about prostitutes and <laughs> escorts and stuff always kind of appealed to me. So even though I know that a geisha is not a prostitute, I'm not saying that they were, but women that were paid to entertain men. Uh, privately are always a subject of intrigue for me. So um, I'll probably end up reading it and liking it. So, uh, yeah. I also got another book by Amy Tan, which is Saving Fish. Oh, no, no. I already told you I was Saving Fish and Drowning. Uh, the Bone Setter's Daughter um, by Amy Tan. I have this book in mass paperback, and I've read it before. Uh, but this was a hardbound, and it's beautiful. It looks brand new, and I think it was $2.99. Um, yeah, it was two ninety nine. It looks brand new. It's gorgeous. I love the cover. Um, and I love that book. I think out of all the Amy Tan books that I've read thus far, The Bone Setter's Daughter is probably my favorite. I just really, really liked that book. So, um, but I like all her books. So, yeah. And then I got Anne Rice, The Witching Hour. I have never read anything by Anne Rice. Nothing. And, um, so I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm gonna, you know, get some Anne Rice, because they had a bunch. And so I saw this one, and I got it, because, you know, whatever. And then I got Anne Rice, I got Taltos, Taltos, I don't even know how you pronounce that, but I also got that. Not knowing that these are in a trilogy, and this is the first one, and this is the third one, and the second one they actually had there, and I didn't get it. So I'm gonna have to go back and get the second one. Uh, but I probably won't do that for a while. This one was one ninety nine. I think this one might have been two ninety nine because it's huge. But it might have been one ninety nine too. I don't know. Oh, it was three ninety nine. Okay, so there were some books that were more than three bucks. So this one's three ninety nine. Taltos was one ninety nine, and then they had the second one, but I didn't get it. But I'm excited to read that because I hear it's really good. But I mean, it's so thick. Like I'm just like I don't know. So, um, but I'm really, 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 really thrilled uh, about our purchases, and they were only like I said. 24 bucks for 10 books, which is amazing. Um, so definitely check it out. It is one of those places where you do kind of have to search, and I didn't really see a whole lot worth getting excited about, whereas that other bookstore, like, I could have almost bought the whole store. There was just so much stuff that I was like, I want it, I want it, I want it. This store, it wasn't like that, but I still managed to get some decent enough finds. So, yeah. Uh, that is my haul, I guess, for February. I don't know that I'll be buying any more books, but... You never know, because you know how I am, so, um, but I am glad about the purchases that I got. Who knows when the heck I'll get around to reading them, um, but at least they look pretty on my shelf, so, um, I will talk to you guys later, and, um, I will be in touch now that I'm kind of back into the fold of things. Uh, hopefully I get better, because, um, I've just been really sick, so, boo, cold. Uh, but anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great, great, great weekend, and happy reading, everybody. Bye.